All right, beautiful people, it's your guys, your friend, your brother, your cousin, your neighbor. And you're watching E for Entertainment, E Avenue TV. And uh, we've been bringing you good stuff. Keep the dial locked on E Avenue TV. That's so where you get your bulk entertainment on the dozen inside carton. Don't do yourself. That's what's up now. If you don't have light on your gen, you don't have your gen on your neighbor gen. Both of you don't have gen, use solar. You don't have solar, my brother, use battery. Anyhow, make sure you log on. You have any TV is your place. So keep supporting Frank Donga. I love you guys. Keep supporting Hollywood. Keep supporting Nigeria. Because after all, you know, feed Japa, we did it together. Where you want to go? <laughs> now, where are you? Well, um, happy Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. If you're not already watching you have a new TV, you're wasting your time. And challenge yourself next year because in life, you don't lose, you learn. So uh, good luck and uh, cheers to you. Hello, beautiful people. This is Frank Donga, and you're watching me live on E Avenue TV. We're right on set here of One Lagos Night, the movie. Bringing you good stuff. I'm playing the role of Tayo in this movie, One Lagos Night. And uh, Tayo is a simple Nigerian, like many of us, hustler, looking for how to secure the bag. And, you know, he has a friend called Ehis. And they get mixed up into one or two crime things in their pursuit of happiness or riches. So how do they come out of it? Were they right or are they wrong? What kind of hustle did they get themselves mixed up with? That's why you have to watch a movie to find out. Well, my character in this movie, Tayo, is not too far from my everyday character because he's a simple laid back slightly goofy kind of individual like a lot of nigerians you know they love life the only difference is Tayo has this way of maintaining church mind in one side and street mind in the other side so he constantly believes god is supporting god is supporting anything he does for us whether it's legit or not <laughs> i'm not like that too i keep it legit but Tayo is an interesting character he's a likable character funny uh, simple character and it's just a reflection of some of the people we see every day at least you know somebody who is a tire or who is like my character tire and that's what this movie is teaching us my experience working on this set has been amazing my first time working with the director of Kenya but uh, he's, he's an amazing guy he knows what he wants and he, he has eye for details the Cinematographer Mohamed Atta, amazing guy. I've known him for a while and I've worked with him before. He, does, he has an amazing insight for cinematography and details on set. The production managers, the um, ADs, the, the, the gaffers, the technical department, costume, makeup, sound, everyone. It's been, it's been like we're not on set, we're not working because we've been having fun. We play. We joke, but we get the work done. And that, that makes a difference when you are doing this kind of work because we shoot from night to morning. Now we're going to be doing it for about nine, ten days. So you can imagine it's a lot of strain and stress. So we need all the enjoyment and relaxed atmosphere we can get. And that's what's happening. It's been fun, it's been exciting, it's been professional. It's been um, refreshing. Um, my name is Serge. I am uh, 38 years old. I am part debutant actor, part businessman, and very glad to be here at the set today. Well, my character is Greg, so Greg would be Anita's boyfriend. Now it's a very brief cameo, so um, all I can say is that he does bring mystery to the, um, to the scene. Uh, his character also throws in the, uh, the, you know, the notions of um, love, but uh, treason as well. And um, I think it's an impactful, you know, cameo, yeah. Well, the, <laughs> so, so, so basically it's a very brief cameo, as I said, so it's very difficult for me to say that the character does uh, reflect me. But I can, I mean, I don't want to spoil the plot, but I'd, I wouldn't say it does. I think we're completely separate, but it doesn't matter who, uh, you know, who you play. If you like acting and you enjoy the experience of being in different you know, uh, different bodies, different minds, then whether or not it connects to you as an individual, you should be able to enjoy yourself and, uh, you know, and project a, uh, you know, a good scene. 
my experience of this set, to be honest, is quite humbling. I mean, it's good to see the actors, the uh, you know, the producers, directors, technical team, how everything goes. Uh, you know, the uh, the mingling, the um, the preparations, how people deal with the stress as well. Uh, you know, getting advice from co-actors who have the experience and the know-how. So it's very humbling, and especially for me, you know, I've uh, always wanted to at least be in a scene. Um, so it's uh, been quite eye-opening, and I'm sure in 10 years' time, when I get my Oscar, we'll be looking at this interview and celebrating. In this movie, um, One Lagos Night, I play the character Radiant, and Radiant happens to be the head of the robbery gang that goes to, goes to boggle a house. That's the character I played. And well, the experience has been awesome so far because um, everyone I've met on the set, right from the cast to the crew, everyone has been very friendly, and um, there's this um, level of professionalism I've been seeing on the set, which I, I, I like, um, and it started back from when I was given the script. You know, I was given the script like five months ago, and um, which means any uh, filmmaker who wants to make a movie and is, uh, starts preparing like five months ahead of time, then that person is really very serious. The person is out for business, that's one. Um, along the line, when I came across the production manager, we were in contact, they were right on time. Whatever they wanted you to do, they will let you know ahead of time that, okay, we want you for this at so-so time. And they keep to time. They are here to time. Time is very important on this set. And that's what I really must say a kudos to the entire cast and crew for. Now, my colleagues on the set, the co-actors, they've been very friendly too, you know, easy going. You know, it's like um, whenever we're on set, we, 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 we relate very well, we flow with each other. So... It's been nice. Um, well, even though we haven't um, finished shooting, we're still on. Uh, so I cannot really say uh, this is a specific. Maybe when I'm done with the production, I can be able to pick point, uh, you know, a place and say this is what I like most about the film. All right. Uh, my name is Michael. Uh, some people know me as Ogbolo. Some people know me as James from Jennifer's Diary. You know, this scratching face guy. You understand me now? <laughs> Alright, so I'm playing um, um, the role of Scorpion in this particular movie and uh, Scorpion is a bad guy, you know, a bad sharp guy, you know, an arm robber, you know, who together with his, you know, clique, his friends, decide to go rob um, this lady at her home, okay, so yeah, then uh, arm robbery gone wrong, basically, okay, but that's about it though. Um, dread, 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 dread. My character is a dreadable character. Which character wants to be dreadable than an arm robber's character? <laughs> that is the dreading, <laughs> basically. Um, but I think everyone has got something to offer at the same time, you know, and everybody peculiar with their own character. So, um, Frank Donga, um, that's a character I think I would have loved to play because normally I love to play comedy, comedy characters, you know, just to make people laugh and all that. It's something that comes naturally as a comedian first before an actor, you know. So that's what I would, okay, I, would, I think a Frank Dunga's role, you know, because he kills it. You get, I know Frank Dunga now, himself and gold put together, it's beautiful, you know. So every time I watch him, I say, oh, oh but they carry gun, give me, make a good form, bad guy, you know. And then having to play, um, an arm robber at the same time bringing in some comedy into it, you know, playing both, both, uh, you know, bringing laughter, but at the same time being a serious guy with a gun is challenging on its own, you know, but you, I still get to do it as an actor, you know, but the role I probably would have loved to play a Frank Dunga's role, you know, to kill it too, you understand me? My character reflects a personality I like to sell sometimes, you know, it's not my person really, I'm a bubbly guy, I'm a fun guy, you know, people like to be around me, you know, I don't think my character is, this character Scorpion is totally different from who I am as a person, you know, an arm robber, I have nothing close to being an arm robber, I've never stolen in my life before, I've not stolen anything before, you know, nothing, everything I took was taken without permission. So it's very far from my real character. You get me that. But um, no, it's, 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 not, it's not in any way resembled. It does not resemble my real character at all. The part in the movie that struck me the most, I think the switch. 
um, the switch from is a bunch of guys coming together to go rob a particular lady, and then they get there, then it's it switches from this is what the plan is to some other amateurs taking over. You know, yeah, I think it's something people would look forward to, you know, uh, as the movie um, progresses. Experience so far, um, it's been challenging yet beautiful. All right, uh, it's been a mix of both. Um, one, Lagos is hot. So everywhere hot. So we're acting and everybody like, <laughs> you know. But at the same time, um, we, we do all night shoots. And so because we're shooting all night, um, it, it, it's a lot. We're not, some people are not nocturnal, you know. I, I am actually, um, I'm a night person, you know. So it, it's a little easier for me. But then it messes up my day activities, you know, because now you have to sleep and then sometimes cut your sleep short and then go do some other things and then come back on set again and do an all night. It's basically from 7 p.m. till 7 a.m. You know, day they break for our eye like this. You get so it's challenging though. Uh, but at the same time, it's been beautiful, you know, being on set with the likes of Frank Donga, Gold, you know, Enola Badmore, and a number of people. It's been beautiful too. So, but I'm blessed to be on set with these particular um, great, great actors. Mm. I wouldn't say I have a preference for characters, but I just love to play characters out of my comfort zone, you know. Um, and so, on on some other um, platforms, I've I've been I've been blessed to be a part of. I just love to play anything that's not easy, you know, not regular. Um, I don't like to play that lover boy character because it's it's basic is go and go and catch love <laughs> or love catch you you know but i love to play stuff that is outside my comfort zone you know either play um a policeman that has to be on the road messing messing things up or you know play like an arm robber role you know or what i play on uh, some other platform like you know a near feminine role you know stuff that is just outside my comfort zone you get so challenging roles basically yeah Hi guys, my name is Chris Okabwe. I am an actor and I am on the set of uh, One Lagos Night where I play the character Poison. Yes. Uh, Poison is the guy that nobody wants to mess with. He's um, very direct, straightforward, um, almost like has, has a, like a, a tunnel vision when it comes to his, his objectives. So it's very difficult for you to distract him from whatever he wants to achieve. He's, uh, he's the kind of person that I'd, I'd say he's paranoid, but he'd rather be paranoid than ignorant. If he has a feeling or if, if he senses something around him, he'd rather want to get to the bottom of it to find out what that was than just leave it to chance. Um, he doesn't smile, he doesn't laugh, he doesn't talk a lot, but when he says something, he means it. He doesn't bluff. Um, so yes, that's pretty much that about Poison. I like him a lot because I feel like he's very determined, he's very focused, he's very... Uh, direct and straightforward yes my experience so far working on this production has been good um everyone has been on point everyone has been on a hundred from the director to the crew members to all the actors who are all amazing by the way um it's been great the only challenge which i am sure everyone can testify to is the fact that we are we are shooting majorly at night because the entire film like 90 percent of the film happens at night so we don't get to work during the day we start filming like 7 p.m till 7 a.m the next morning which can be quite but nobody has died yet so i think we are still okay uh but other than that nothing so insurmountable we're good we're good i am ikmamosa gold i'm an actor what else do I do? I bake bread. I sell bread. <laughs> yes, and uh, well, um, that's what I do. And at the moment, I'm on this uh, the movie called One Lagos Night, where I'm playing the character of Eizogi Obaseki. If I uh, well, a naturally fantastic and realistic character. Yeah. This character is really not scared of anything, but, well, no, no, let me not say he's not scared of it. He's scared of something. He's scared of failing in life. He's scared of not wanting to live this life and not make a mark. He's scared of not being able to to perform his 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 basic duties or roles or responsibility to whoever not not just only to his family members or but to his to his closest neighbor 
And so whenever he is not able to meet that need or that responsibility or that role, he sees himself as a failure. And that's what he's fighting against. Yes. That's his, that's his, that's his greatest fear. You see, I, I'm very, very certain that this character will impact life and change the way things are done. For instance, everybody wants to achieve something. But it is the means to which you achieve it that matters. But he wants to ensure that whatever way he, whatever ways or means he uses to achieve his, his aims does not include bloodshedding, does not, does not make sure that it doesn't take someone's life. You know? Because he feels that every human being too has a right to be alive, has a right to live. And so uh, there, are, there, are, there are opportunities everywhere. So if there are opportunities everywhere, why would you want to take someone's, why would you want your own way to affect somebody's own? Why would you want your own life to, to be a, a source of sorrow to somebody else? So that's what he would not take. But whichever way it will, it will, his life will be, a, will be meaningful to people. He will do it so long as someone else's life is not someone else's life is not involved and blood is not involved. He will do it. So I think basically that way, that's the way every man should. Or I mean, I, I, I'm not going to sit here and start saying this is how you should live. Or that's it. But when you are able to meet a need in your society, you are living. When you are able to affect one life or two in your environment, then you are living. You don't have to be like, well, if, if you have the grace to be like the, the rich men in the world, and the, the, be that. But start from the little place where you are. Start from that, from that, from that lungu, as the author would say, from that lungu where, nobody, where you think nobody sees you, where you think nobody knows you. Someone else needs you there. By the time you meet that, there will be another one will, you know, Bring out itself to say, okay, okay, I still need you. Then you do it. So, but you have not done the little one in that place. You want to become the richest man in the world. You want to become the richest. How does that work? That's that's how I think people should live, because you know, I, I, as I always say, every life, the life of every every film or movie, has a different life from another life. So people who are there, you know. Where, for instance, if you go to a hospital, different hospital, you meet different nurses, different doctors. But they are all there to deliver that baby. So, I'm going to liken that to what has been going on here. It's like a good hospital who is ready to bring forth this child, this movie. And they will ensure that everything it takes to bring it, this child alive, they will do it. So, everyone has been walking, the costume, lovely people. The makeup, nice, nice ladies. You know, the crew, the crew, sometimes I pity them. They, they overwork, in fact, they work themselves out. I'm telling you, they work themselves out. And I'm like, wow. It's for, for this thing, you know, but if you see the, the zeal with which they work, you know that this thing is just, it's, not, it's more than passion. So everyone has been, then the director has been, you know, if the pressure is coming from the director to every other person, you know that it's like mountain of fire. <laughs> or fire on the mountain. <laughs> yes. Yes. My advice to people around is that whatever you do, whatever good thing you do, ensure that you be a blessing to everybody around you. Once you are, once you are a blessing to people around you, it shows that you are probably watching E Avenue TV. Stay tuned. Okay, hi, my name is Akene Somme Kunye. I'm I'm a film director and producer, and um, I'm currently um, directing and producing um, one of my feature films titled um, One Lagos Night, and it's it's a comedy, um, something we plan to um, release sometime um, early next year. Um, oh. And um, yeah, just something that people would enjoy, basically. Yeah, we have quite um, we have a couple of actors. Um, we have um, Eniola Badmos, who is not yet on set. Um, we have um, Nancy Sime. Um, yeah, and a couple of others, Ogbolo and Co. 
Um, well, for, for me, it's, it's basically about people that can interpret the characters the way I want them and the way that will bring life to the story. And so far, it's, it's been one of my best experience in terms of having my actors deliver the way I want them to deliver. So far, um, one, one, one scene that I, I, have, I have come to love so much is, in fact, every scene that has Frank Donga and Gold interacting has been mind-blowing. There's, there's this chemistry between both of them, and it's, it's been awesome. I've enjoyed every bit of these two guys. My name is Sigurd Zemwanibu. I'm the scriptwriter for One Lagos Night. Okay, what inspired me to write One Lagos Night? Hmm. Okay, so two things. First, back in the university, so our hostel where we stayed, where I stayed during my university days, so there was this incident that happened during that time when um, phones were a big deal. And so someone got a new phone and it was like noise in the hostel. And then someone broke into the guy's room to steal the phone. And after succeeding in the mission of stealing the phone, the person now realized that he didn't steal the charger. So he broke back into the room to steal the charger. And while stealing the charger, he was caught. And they gave him the beating of his life that day. And that was one. Then secondly, I was also watching um, a drama, yeah, where two friends came to steal the same thing and found themselves that, ah, so you came to steal what I came to steal too. So these two incidents merged together was what inspired me to come up with One Lagos Night. The come from the movie will be the fact that first off, Nigeria is us collectively. We should not encourage the, both the embezzlement of funds and the laundering of funds of money because money laundering is a crime. And in as much as yes, we see characters who kind of like broke into the house to take because as far as they were concerned, that was money laundered money being laundered, money embezzled. And for us as people in Nigeria, we need to realize that this country is us. We are the ones who need to fix it. And rather than trying to destroy the country, we should be those who should be focused on building it up. OK, my name is Dino Radirito. I'm an actor, a voiceover artist, a model, and an all-round entertainer. I play the character Viper. Viper is one of the amateur burglars that came to bogle the house. <laughs> He's just like a clueless guy, very oblivious, so that's what Viper is just about. Um, basically, it only reflects because, um, you know, at one point, everybody just wants to strive for the better. Everybody just wants something better for themselves. But I'm not a thief. I will steal, I will steal to. I will steal to have something better. But just looking at it in that light, um, you know, it's just um, Viper wanted something, wanted something different aside being a panel beater. But it just had to be like he has to do it with the gang, and it's just the wrong decision and everything. Child. Production is actually great the welfare, the timing, everything. But the only thing is the late night shoot. You have to shoot from like 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Then you go and sleep. I spend my night from morning to afternoon. Then I have to start my day from <laughs> 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So that's really, but everything else is fantastic. Fantastic. All right, guys. My name is Michael. Some of you know me as Ogbolo. Some of you know me as James from Jennifer's Diary. Keep watching E! Avenue TV on YouTube, all right? Make sure you subscribe too. That is very, 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 very important. All right? Keep watching. Don't touch the dial at all. If not, this will touch you. As in, just click that down. It won't take you how many minutes you take to subscribe now. Just subscribe and keep watching. Look at it. E Entertainment TV.